And hey, good morning. It's Wednesday on my way to the office, midway through the year, month six, halfway through a whole nother year. It just tells you something how fast time flies. I'm actually shooting this video. It's four. It's 4.08 right now. I'm actually shooting this video inside my garage. I'm doing something a little bit different, which I know better than to do. Um, I wish I could share something that was really inspirational and super uplifting, but I took somewhat of a spill yesterday. Um, routine is probably the most important thing in anything that you're trying to do besides dealing with your family. Routine with your family isn't necessarily always good um, just because they're people. And when it comes to terms of people, I think you have to always be uh, unique and you have to be different. You have to always um, strive to give them a new side of you. Um, business, though, and any other trying to personal accomplishment, I mean, even think about basketball, or any other type of athletic sport or, um, you know, yeah, any business, you know, an athlete. If you're a basketball player, you typically always shoot the ball the same in order to get that conformity uh, to guarantee your shot every time. A uh, football player, you know, if you lace up your cleats a certain way before a game, it's just a routine. And lately, I've been kind of deviating from my routine. Um, my coach has put me on a different diet of calling people. That's altered my routine. But usually when my coach has me do something it's because he sees the area where I can perfect that well my ass being as cute as I think I am decided after all this time listen I take the same route to work every morning I get up the same time every morning I stop at the same place to get my coffee every single morning my routine on business is the same now if you speak to Ricky my my routine is not always the same with her because she's a person, she's my wife, she's family, you know, we we do spontaneous things. In your business, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know that that's the time to start doing a bunch of spontaneous things. It's okay to add different layers of systems and, and ways of doing things, but you never break away from the routine of what you actually do. And I think it bit me in the ass. I mean, with uh, with my, my daughter, Sanaya, being born on Saturday, um, you know, that kind of affected me because I, I, I didn't want to go right back to business, even though I knew that there was a lot of things still um, pressing at the time that I needed to take care of. And then ultimately, I always speak to Malachi and tell him that if he creates a routine of habits, those would be the habits that he ends up carrying through. And for some reason, I start deviating from that. I started taking a different route to work. I started drinking and getting my coffee at a different place. I mean, completely screwing up my mojo going all the way through. So yesterday, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I had literally, not a breakdown, but literally, I, I just, I doubt was filling my mind. There was all types of pressure of thoughts of failure and am I doing it and is it is it really gonna work and is it really gonna is this really worth it maybe I should just seek something else out maybe I should just do something else something that I know I can get done better and and I and I went through that for a while I had to you know um, every day I have accountability to people so I had to tell them what I was going through a couple of them told me pull my head out my ass <laughs> Well, all of them told me to pull my head out of my ass because they knew I was better than that. Um, they knew I was better than to be overcome by some imaginary thought or dream of things not happening. And I, I knew enough to know better than that. But what it brought me back to reality is that those fears, they seem very real. They seem very relevant. They seem very strong. They seem like that's what's happening right now. And I, I had to come back to a point. I reached out to my mentor in Florida and was kind of telling him what was going on because he I know with the level of success he's achieved, I know he's been there. I know he's seen that. And he dropped a couple nuggets on me. But then I did something even better. <clears throat> I got on the phone with Ricky and I mastermind with her. I mastermind with my wife. And I told her what was going on. I told her how I was feeling. I told her I was literally in a in a, in a paralyzed state of shock, pa paranoia, literally. For me, it seemed like forever. It probably was only an hour or two, but it seemed like forever. 
And I know that some people that, that suffer with anxiety, that's how it is for them. As a matter of fact, it's not even an hour. It could be five or 10 minutes every 10, 20 minutes that they're feeling this uh, bout of angst. So I got on the phone, Ricky, and I told her what was going on. And she says, well, just go make your calls and just go do your job and just go. I said, sweetie, it's not that easy because I'm dealing with something else. So what happened is we started brainstorming through my process. She says, well, you get up and you're ready and you're out the door. What time do you get to your office? I said, well, I get to my office about 445, 5 o'clock sharp. She says, okay, what do you do between 5 o'clock and, you know, the time you start actively uh prospecting or uh, reaching out to clients. I said, um, typically, um, I'll do some admin work. Yesterday morning, I decided to get on the phone and make a couple calls because, you know, I'd been out the office, so I wanted to make a couple calls. And um, what I had noticed was my mindset. I had let Facebook come into my mind before I had to get busy income producing and income producing is gold it, it helps me get towards my goal so why would I ever let anything get in the way of what's going to help me reach my goals or take care of my family not just a little bit but to give them everything that they want and they deserve emails these phone calls and you know they're to clients and they were necessary but when I started thinking about it, that phone call, I tried to squeak in before I was getting ready to make my most important part of my day happen. Those phone calls could have made, been made at 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. See, our ability to brainstorm allowed me to see that I had created my own issue by allowing my mindset not to be as strong as it needed to be to go into the most important part of my day. So I guess the moral of the story is stick to your stick to your A skin, a, stick to your A plan, and then be laser beam focused on it. Cause I'm about to head into the office. No social media, no emails, no text messages, no phone calls. Because guess what? All that can wait. Not, the world's not going to end. Matter of fact, nobody even gets to their office until nine o'clock. So whatever I'm talk, think I'm trying to save at six o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. It, it, it's completely useless because most people don't get in the office until 9. Most people still don't even get their day started until 11 or 12. So <laughs> I'm going to focus on the most important part of my day. That way I can make sure that my family succeeds, excels, and uh, I can be that figurehead that I, I, I know I am and I can be. Peace out. Have a great Wednesday. Halfway through the year, real estate market is beautiful. Don't wait for another economic crash to say what you woulda, coulda, shoulda did. 602-686-8122. You got that right on promoting. This is my business and I'm damn good at it. Talk to you soon. Peace.